What is up guys, Delboy here. So Tyson Fury comprehensively outboxes Francesco Pianetta to a 10 round decision victory. Clear and easy for Tyson Fury. He won every round at a canter and he did make improvements from the Sephra Sephri fight. He was a lot lighter on his feet in this fight. His feet were a lot quicker in general. He put his shots together better. Um, I felt he done a better job of managing the distance and, and judging range. <clears throat> you know, his hands were nice and quick. His reactions were a lot better than the Sephri fight. So he's made he had he has made improvements from the Sephri fight, which is good to see. Because against Sephri, I felt he looked pretty bad, to be quite honest. So he's definitely made improvements. Um, were, were there still things he needs to improve on? Absolutely. Although his reactions were better, to me, they're not a patch on what they were when he fought Vladimir Klitschko, when he fought Derek Chisora in the rematch, when he fought Christian Hammer. The, the, the reactions are not at that level yet. There are times when Pianetta was getting through with a straight left hand down the pipe. And also on the ropes, you know, he actually landed a few shots here and there. The BT commentary was shocking. You know, every single punch Pianetta landed, they wouldn't even mention. And I was acting like it was a flawless performance. Yes, he won every round. Yes, he won every round easily. But shots were getting through. You know, silly little shots here and there getting through. That never really used to get through against Tyson Fury. Watch the Christian Hammer fight and, and compare it to this one. Pianetta and Hammer are quite similar fighters. Both come forward guys, very slow feet, you know, not great technique. They just come forward and and pretty much try to uh, grind you down kind of thing. Pretty similar fighters, but Christian Hammer's a better version. Look at how Fury dealt with Christian Hammer and just compare it with this fight. Night and day. It's not the same guy. Fury's reactions are still off, like I said. And not only that, another thing about Fury that I'm worried about his body just doesn't look the same, and I know he's lost a lot of weight, I'm aware of that, but he just looks tired. His body looks like it's gone through the mill. He looks worn out to me. He really, really does. And I don't think he's ready for a high-profile mega match against Deontay Wilder, and he's, and he's going into that fight next. I don't think he's ready. I really, really don't. After watching that, I think it's a perfect time for Deontay Wilder to take that fight, but it's not for Fury. He, he needs to improve. He still needs to have a couple of fights as far as I'm concerned. You know, gradually raise the levels. Like, that was the original plan, was to fight like three or four tune-up fights, gradually raise the levels in competition, um, and then go from there. But, you know, Fury is jumping straight in with Wilder. I think that's a recipe for disaster. Like I said, his reactions are clearly not the same. I'm sorry. So many Fury fans on Twitter tonight saying how great Fury looked. They've clearly not been watching Fury his whole career. Go back and watch the, the uh, Christian Hammer fight. Like I said, the, the reaction times, it's night and day. It really is night and day. And not only that, I said his body, his body looked tired, but also I don't think he, he was as physically strong as he once was. Because when Fury leaned on you in the past, you know, it really kind of got to the opponents. And it was getting to Pianetta, don't get me wrong, but there was never any moments in this fight where I felt Fury was going to stop him. You know, his punches... He's never been a big puncher, but his punches looked like they had nothing on them, nothing at all, like no strength um, in his core. He just looked, he, he, did, he didn't look ready for a Deontay Wilder. Yes, he's good enough to box those guys up still, yeah, fair enough. But Deontay Wilder is a different kettle of fish, he really, really is. And I don't think he's ready, I don't think he's ready. And... Another thing, man, BT Sports commentary was awful, like I said earlier. Not not um, calling shots that were being landed by Pianetta. Not being honest with what was happening. The honesty, the, the honest um, perspective is, he was a lot better than the Sephri fight, but still a long way to go. But no, they was making out like this guy was boxing a masterclass and that Pianetta um, really wasn't having any success at all, when that wasn't the case. Did Pianetta have great success? No, but he was still landing. And David Hay came out with the most ridiculous comment I've ever heard. And he basically said that Fury may have been um, holding back to lull Deontay Wilder in a false sense of security. We, we're, we're, all, we're all used to the uh, matchroom propaganda and the Sky Sports propaganda, but fuck me. BT are joining in on the act now. Fucking hell. Commentary was awful. Get David Hay off. He was terrible. Um, 
Barry Jones is a weird one. When it's a home show, when it's a Frank Warren show, I think Barry Jones is pretty bad. But when it's an international show and, and there's no kind of uh, home fighter involved, he's actually quite good. So Barry Jones I'm kind of undecided on, and John Rawling is what he is, but they need a third commentator because David Hay was terrible. And also, for all the uh, Fury fans on Twitter who are saying that even this version of Fury is going to school Wilder, when Wilder knocks him out in the winter, don't then turn around and say Fury wasn't ready or he was shot, because you set that narrative that he, he could easily beat Wilder now, so stick to it, yeah? I'm saying right now, Tyson Fury is not ready. So when Wilder knocks him out, which is going to happen, I'm not going to be that impressed, man. They're trying to sell you something that's not there. This is David Hay versus Tony Bellew all over again. Not to Hay extent, because Fury clearly has more than Hay. But Fury's clearly not what he was. Um, and as for the uh, little uh, sort of um, coming together in the ring, you know, both guys confirmed they're going to fight. No date set yet. That should be set next week, according to Frank Warren. They had a, they had a little back and forth. Uh, Tyson Fury said he's going to knock Wilder the fuck out. Wilder said he's going to knock Fury out. Fury said you can't um, knock out what you can't hit. And and that was pretty much it. It was okay, nothing special. I was actually expecting a lot more from that coming together, actually. That's the a, that's a one thing I was looking forward to about this fight. The coming together between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. I was expecting something big and more out there. But it wasn't really that uh, crazy, you know. But, um... Yeah, the fight is going to happen in the winter, apparently. I still wouldn't be surprised if, if this doesn't happen for some reason, but apparently it's happening in the winter. Fury's going to get sparked cold, I'm going to tell you that now. Um, what else did I want to say before we close this video out? I'm pretty sure that's it. And by the way, I'm not hating on Tyson Fury. I'm just being totally honest with how I feel about this fight right now. It was a great fight. Fury vs Wilder on paper is a magnificent fight, but Fury just isn't what he was. He's not ready for that fight yet, and he may never be ready. He may never be that same fighter again, and we're only going to know that, you know, with more kind of uh, gradual raises in competition. By jumping right into that type of fight, we're never going to know whether he was at that level or not. Should Wilder knock him out, maybe that was the best Fury that he could have that he could have fought, but we're never going to know that because he's jumped right into it. You know, and I don't think he's anywhere near that level, to be quite honest. Like I said, go back and watch Old Fury versus This Fury. Chalk and cheese, night and day, um, yin and yang. It, it, it's just polar opposites. He's yes, he he got better from the Safari fight, but still a lot to, a lot of work to be done. And I know you Tyson Fury fans out there, you're optimistic, and you know you think your man still has enough skill to beat Wilder. Listen, man. Yeah, Wilder's not the he's not in the box that Vladimir Klitschko was, but he ha he does have attributes that Vladimir didn't have. You know, he is e extremely unorthodox. He's not passive like Vladimir. You know, if he's losing a fight, Wilder's going to go for it. He's going to try and knock you out. He's quick. Um, you know, Wilder Wilder brings attributes to the table that he doesn't get credit for, and I think his boxing brain is actually a little bit better than it's given credit for. You know, he, he's got a very good understanding of when to throw the right shots at the right time and, and and what range he needs to be at to land those shots. I don't think Wilder is the primitive fighter you paint him out to be. Yes, his technique is not refined, and yes, the way he throws shots and the way he kind of um, loses his balance at times, yes, it's very amateurish at times, but I think his boxing brain is quite good. And he's even said it himself in post-fight interviews about the way he sets guys up. And that's and he's going to set Fury up and he's going to knock him out cold. But that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Peace.